How does ChatGPT work? Come with me and learn its inner magic, even if you don't know any data science. First, GPT refers to Generative Pre-trained Transformer. What does each word mean? Generative simply means that ChatGPT generates text. In this case, word by word. Let's say you're given this phrase. The next word that comes to mind might be country, because whenever you hear about Canada and big, you think of country. Even if you think Canada is a big dispenser of maple syrup. And that's how ChatGPT works as well. As ChatGPT has seen a huge corpus of documents, it's learned which words are often used together. Based on input text, it predicts the probability that each word in its dictionary is the most appropriate next word and selects the word with the highest probability. The selected word becomes part of the input text when considering subsequent words. The process repeats itself until the most appropriate next word is now. In other words, when it's best to end the passage. How does ChatGPT predict probabilities? A transformer changes the input text into a list of predicted probabilities. Each element tells us the probability that a particular word should be the next word. This transformer has three main components. The first component calculates how closely each word ChatGPT has ever seen is linked to all other words. It generates a number for each word pair. For example, the number linking swimming to water will be high to indicate that they are closely related, though the number linking water to swimming will be lower. When ChatGPT is deciding the next word, it extracts the rows associated with the input words. The second component labels the exact position of each word by creating a second set of numbers based on the position of the word in the text. Consider these two sentences. In the first sentence, genuinely is more closely linked with really, while in the second sentence is more closely linked with sincerely. This second set of numbers helps the algorithm distinguish between the two. And that's why the numbers from the first two components are added together. When you were thinking what should be the next word, which of the four existing words did you pay the most attention to? Canada and Big? That's what ChatGPT does as well. It generates a number for each word, indicating its relative importance. ChatGPT multiplies the attention numbers with the numbers previously generated, before calculating column totals. The word with the highest total is selected as the next word. Hence, words that ChatGPT pays less attention to will receive less weight when deciding which word comes next. Because attention is a limited resource, the number assigned to each word depends on the other words in the text. For example, if these words were added, then there'd be less attention to Canada and Big due to their attention on oil. As a result, ChatGPT might select exporter as the next word instead of country. This attention mechanism was responsible for many breakthroughs in AI. Indeed, Improvements in the attention mechanism were a big source of improvement from GPT-1 to GPT-2 and then GPT-3. We've left open the question of how ChatGPT determines the numbers I mentioned. Here's how it works. ChatGPT has neural networks, which you can think of as machines with billions of knobs. By turning these knobs, you change the numbers. So pre-trained simply means turning these knobs repeatedly and settling for the knob settings that give you the most predictive power. What we've discussed so far is a decent starting point for ChatGPT. However, there are many issues. For example, very little of ChatGPT's training material contains actual user prompts and responses. How can ChatGPT improve further? The ChatGPT team hired contractors to generate prompts and responses. The newly written text was then fed into a model with two components. The first component is exactly the same as the model we discussed earlier. 
After the first component processes the input, it passes the output to the second component. During the training process, only the knobs of the second component can be turned. In other words, the second component fine-tunes the output of the first component. After the second component has been trained, whenever ChatGPT is fed new input text, its predictions will be a weighted average of the first component's output and the second component's output, meaning that it takes both components into consideration. Finally, ChatGPT undergoes the second round of fine-tuning by participating in conversations itself. It generates multiple responses to each prompt written by humans, and human rankings of each response teach ChatGPT what kinds of responses are the most desirable, thereby improving ChatGPT's responses. And that's ChatGPT, a model that creates word-by-word -word responses through learning the associations between words, which words to pay attention to, and fine-tuning with two rounds of human input. The scariest thing is that certain techniques are likely to dramatically improve the performance of ChatGPT. For example, ChatGPT is largely based on InstructGPT, which did not implement adversarial learning. Adversarial learning is a powerful technique that has been used to create synthetic images that are indistinguishable from real ones. Assuming adversarial learning has not already been added to ChatGPT, its performance could skyrocket with this technique. 